Hi guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Medicine PYQ Topic Series and the episode is on Allergic Bronchopulmonary Aspergillosis that is ABPA. So let's get started. So the PYQ question uh, which came in NEET 2018 uh, was which of the following is not a common feature of allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis that is which of the following is not a feature of ABPA. Uh, options are distal bronchiectasis, cough, wheezing and raised serum Ig levels. So to answer this, we should first know a brief idea about what ABPA is and what are the criteria to define ABPA. So let's just quickly go through the topic. So ABPA, it is mainly a eosinophilic pulmonary disorder, uh, which is basically a hypersensitivity response to the fungus Aspergillus fumigatus, where type 1 is more common than type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. It has a high association with asthma or cystic fibrosis. Coming to the pathophysiology, uh, so the fungus which is Aspergillus fumigatus, uh, generally it is seen in patient who is a known case of uh, cystic fibrosis or bronchial asthma where bronchial asthma being more common. These fungus colonize in the airways and then the hypersensitivity response is seen uh, where type 1 hypersensitivity antibody response is more common than type 3 and uh, which ultimately leads to increased IgE, eosinophils, IgG antibodies and infiltrates uh, leading to mucus plugging of the bronchi. Because of this mucus plugging, there is inflammation of the bronchial wall which is ultimately leading to the main manifestation that is the bronchiectasis and uh, tissue damage, remodeling and very rarely upper lobe fibrosis. Coming to the clinical features, patients generally have recurrent asthmatic exacerbations. They are having steroid dependent asthma. Uh, fever and cough with thick brownish mucus plugs containing hyphae are the typical features and on auscultations bilateral crackles and wheezing and on general examination clubbing can be seen in about 15% of the cases. Now the criteria for ABPA diagnosis this is the most important part of the video and I would recommend to take a screenshot of this and this is the area where the most questions can be formed. So let us quickly go through them. So there are basically major criteria and minor criteria where major criteria we have bronchial asthma immediate cutaneous hypersensitivity to aspergillus fumigatus, then a serum total uh, Ig levels more than 1000, uh, then the specific IgG antibody for aspergillus fumigatus, central bronchiectasis pattern on HRCT chest, serum precipitants against A fumigatus, then fleeting or fixed pulmonary opacities on chest, radiograph, peripheral blood eosinophil count more than 1000. These are the major criteria of which 6 out of 8 if present that makes the diagnosis almost certain. But certain minor criteria like sputum cultures demonstrating growth of aspergillus fumigatus, expectoration of brownish black mucus plugs and type 3 skin reactions to the aspergillus fumigatus antigen. Ultimately these criteria will be given as clinical clues in the questions or would be given as the options and so remembering them is important. So here's a mnemonic which can help you remember the criteria that is art apex. So where A is asthma. R for a radiograph where it is showing a fleeting or a fixed pulmonary opacities. T for a test that is a skin test which is immediately positive to aspergillus fumigatus that is type 1 hypersensitivity. Then for apex, E is for eosinophil count more than 1000. P is for precipitants against the aspergillus fumigatus. I is the IgE levels more than 1000. C, this is very important, central bronchiectasis, you cannot miss this one. Then S for a specific serum aspergillus fumigatus. IgG antibody. So you can remember this criteria with the help of this mnemonic art apex. Going forward, the coming to the certain images which can be given in the questions. So if you see all these chest x-rays, they are showing uh, fleeting pulmonary opacities which is because of the eosinophilic infiltration of the lung parenchyma. So the arrow marks which you can see, they are all suggestive of fleeting pulmonary opacities which is a characteristic finding in ABP. Also, this could be a potential image based question which is finger in glove sign that is due to the mucus impaction in the dilated bronchi. So this is again a potential question which can be given in radiology or it can be asked as a part of medicine and this is a very typical of ABP again. Now coming to the certain CT scan findings, uh, if you see the CT scan here, all of them are showing uh, central bronchiectasis that is proximal cylindrical bronchiectasis which is characteristic of ABPA and you cannot miss this point and this was also a differentiating option in our question. Lastly the management so steroids for 12 weeks if there is no response or it is steroids refractory uh, certain other options like anti-IG antibody omalizumab itroconazole for a course of 16 weeks 
hypotonic saline and airway clearance devices are certain other options the best way to monitor the disease is to monitor the levels of ige in frequent intervals now let us go back to the question and uh, so the question was which of the following is not a common feature of allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and the options are distal bronchiectasis cough wheezing and raised serum ig levels so if you remember the clinical features patient definitely have cough and wheezing and in the criteria we remember art epix where i is ig level so raised serum ig level is also a part of the criteria but distal bronchiectasis is not found in abpa it is rather central bronchiectasis which is a characteristic finding and it's a very important point to be remembered so i hope now you know why the answer is distal bronchiectasis that is a feature which is not common in abpa so this was all about abpa guys i hope uh, you are benefiting from this revision series if you are new to my channel please subscribe and do hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on the notifications and i will be coming up with similar episodes till then keep studying keep revising and i'll see you in the next episode cheers